Hi, folks. Aaron Dore here at the New York State Firearms Association. And as we work to stop the insane gun control agenda going on in Albany, you should also know that on Monday, the Judiciary Committee in Washington, D.C. begins four days of confirmation hearings on Katanji Jackson's nomination to replace Stephen Breyer on the United States Supreme Court. And guys, there is a lot at stake when it comes to this nomination and the future of our court, the future of our gun rights. So if you have a moment, watch this video update for more information. If you don't have a moment, whatever else you do, hit the link beneath this video and send your email to Schumer and Gillibrand telling them to oppose this nomination. We're going to give you all the information here in a moment. But if all you have time for is this little snippet, that's okay. Send your email, take action, make your voice heard right away today. Now, Joe Biden is holding up Katanji Jackson as he dares call her a, a centrist or perhaps a, a moderate You know, when it, when it comes to her views on the Second Amendment and everything else. He wants to try to lull gun owners and Americans into thinking that this is not some other version of David Chipman. This is not some radical leftist, but that's exactly what Katanji Brown Jackson is. Here's her photograph right here. Katanji Jackson has spent her entire adult life attacking our right to keep and bear arms and upholding and trying to advocate for radical left-wing causes. In 2008, before she was even a judge, Katanji was on the Obama for uh, the, the election campaign for Barack Obama, which would tell you all you have to know about where she stands on the Second Amendment. In the years that followed, she's been a repeated guest lecturer at the American Constitution Society. And that might not sound like a big deal, right? It's kind of a good name after all, the American Constitution Society. Make no mistake, this is perhaps the most left-leaning think tank in all of Washington, D.C., and they loved her because Katanji Brown, Katanji Brown Jackson, fits in with their radical hate America leftist ideology. This is the reality of Katanji Brown. Now, as a current federal judge who has been through a, a confirmation process in the Senate before, Katanji has refused, I mean, every single time she was asked, she refuses to agree that you and I, as gun owners, have an individual right to keep and bear arms. She refuses to acknowledge that we have a God-given, constitutionally codified, and Supreme Court-acknowledged individual right to keep and bear arms. As far as Katanji is concerned, the Second Amendment only guarantees the right of the government to own firearms. It's, it's a collective right that the government has an interest in maintaining and controlling. It does not extend to you and me as individual gun owners. And that's why she's been endorsed, as you can imagine, by every single left-wing uh, gun control organization in America right now. Moms Demand Action, Every Town for Gun Safety, the Giffords uh, Organization, and Brady Campaign for Gun Control. All four of these organizations have endorsed her because they know the truth. The truth is that swapping Stephen Breyer for Katanji Jackson is not just a net even deal. They are, they're going to replace an old, tired tyrant with a young, aggressive tyrant with a much more aggressive view of judicial activism as well and put her on the bench where she can spend decades taking a sledgehammer against our right to keep and bear arms. That's why, again, she has the endorsement of every national gun control organization in the country. Guys, we've got to take action on this. Fire off your emails. Tell Senators Gillibrand and Schumer that you're not happy with the nomination. Tell them to oppose it. I know you're asking the question, why should I bother? Because they don't care. Here's the reason. Here's why you should bother. Here's why they care. You see, Joe Biden has done everything he possibly can to destroy his party's chances in the November elections. The poll numbers are the lowest that we have seen in a generation for the presidency. The, the Congress is in complete, it's a complete dumpster fire when it comes to their chances of keeping the House and possibly even the Senate. Folks, the numbers are so bad that here in New York State, Lee Zeldin is currently leading Kathy Hochul in a, a polling because everybody across the country, from New York State to California, from Minnesota to Texas, everywhere in between, we've all seen that Joe Biden has destroyed this country in a short year and a half. Inflation is pushing 
Violent crime is absolutely out of control. Our foreign policy positions are a laughing stock, and everybody is holding this guy accountable, as they should. And so if you're Chuck Schumer and you're sitting in Washington, D.C. right now, all you really care about is keeping your control of the Senate. You want to be the leader for the next two years. And they know, they know that Joe Biden's actions may very well cost them control of that chamber. And they know if they keep pushing radical nut jobs for these positions, in this case, Katanji Jackson on the Supreme Court, that's going to be used against them in the 2022 general election. Damn right it will be. Of course we're going to use it against them. So when you email them and you confirm their worst fears and you tell them that if you put this radical judicial activist on the bench, it's going to be used against you and your conference in November, we may still stall out this nomination just like we did with David Chipman last year. So fire off your emails now. It's important. And they are very concerned about losing control in D.C. at the uh, because of pushing to confirm crazy nominees like Katanji Jackson. You know, there's a lot of big cases coming up before the Supreme Court when it comes to our gun rights in the very near future. We have a landmark case coming from New York State, obviously challenging the tyrannical, abusive, capricious May issue permit system. Also going to be more cases, though, in the near future, asking the question to the, ju the, the justices, can Joe Biden simply bypass Congress and mandate gun control via executive order? Can he, for example, uh, go against our mandate that we ha cannot own a pistol brace? Can he mandate that Americans cannot have an 80% lower receiver? Can the ATF simply take his decrees and pass gun control by regulatory fiat. It was never voted on in Congress. There was never any committee hearings in Congress. No one ever had to cast a vote on this, but unelected bureaucrats are taking Biden's executive order and they're making gun control by regulatory fiat. Those questions will be asked of the Supreme Court in the coming uh, months, weeks, years. It's going to come up. It's going to come up. And so it's important that we have our best chance of surviving these challenges by opposing Katanji Jackson style nominees for the court. So guys, take action right away. I want to remind you guys, we all stood tall, fought hard and flooded Schumer and Gillibrand with emails opposing David Chipman. And we can do it again right now when it comes to Katanji Jackson, but we have got to stand up and hold fast. The committee in D.C. is an 11 to 11 Democrat Republican committee. The only way the GOP that, that, that this moves forward is that the GOP betrays us or Chuck Schumer can take her nomination if it stalls in committee and move it on the floor by a procedural motion. But he tried that with David Chipman. And when, once the Republicans saw him do that, they all uniformly opposed that madman. If he does that again here with Katanji Jackson, it's going to unite the Republican conference into opposing her nomination. And we may still stop this crazy left wing activist from making it to the Supreme Court, guys. We're six months away from the elections, six months away. We may take the Senate. It's time to fight hard. Keep the pressure up. Send your emails right away today, guys. Share our video. And go to joinnysfa.com to join our fight as a member. Take action, guys. We'll keep you informed. Take care.